arms, but gives up reach of the legs. And once again, a bit of a weight difference. It happens here in Michigan. 149 JP, 147.6 Daniel Swain. Needs to look out for Swain's hard pace and not punch himself out here. Says he'll hurt Swain with punches on the ground, catch him with a sub, and says he'll try and put Swain on his back early here, Pat. I find it an interesting matchup between two very solid wrestlers. It is Swain versus Reese. Let's go up to Cyrus Fees once more. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, standing to my right. He is a grappling specialist, standing five foot eight inches tall, official weight 147.6 pounds. His record is impressive. Ten wins, only two defeats. Fighting for American Kickboxing Academy, Corpalin, Idaho. Give it up for Agent Orange, Daniel Sway. And his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the right corner. He is a wrestler, standing five foot nine, official weight, 149 pounds. His record, 10 and seven, fighting out of ATT, Rochester Hills, Michigan. Give it up for J.P. Reed. The referee, Gary Copeland. All right, listen up, fighters. Both to your instructions in the back. Expect to listen to my commands at all time. Have a clean, fair fight. Any questions out of you, Blue? How about you, Red? Let's touch them up. Prepare to fight. Gary Copeland, the final instructions. J.P. Reese and Daniel Swain. From the Elsie Walker Arena in Freezing, Muskegon, Michigan. Round one, you ready, Blue? Round one, you ready, Red? Let's fight. Both men open in orthodox stance. Wild uppercut early on here from J.P. Reese. Nice job getting the takedown, following up. Very tight waist. Inside guard, trying to put him in the full guard there was Swain. One foot on hips here from Swain. And now puts him in full guard and closes it. Elbow to the clavicle. Swain felt his MMA wrestling was going to be better. But uh, at this point, Reese showing that might not be the case. He's in the cage a little here is J.P. Reese. Yeah, sneaking Getting his arm stuck in there, Reese. Can Swain find a sub here in the first? Keep your toes out of the cage. Gary Copeland just warned him to get the toes out of the cage for Daniel Swain. Can he break it? No. That hurts. And you want it to be broken on that one because you don't want him to go belly down like it's, it's happening now. Swain still looking for the submission here. And Smart trying to push his leg out of the way because he's trying to protect his arm by having his leg against it. Add to the leverage. Reese now ducking his head, trying to keep that leg from hooking. A lot of energy being used right now on bottom. Swain wants this sub. Gets dropped on his head again, but still doesn't give up. Swain doing a good job of sliding out from underneath him. He's got to figure out how to get his body weight back into this. There he's climbing back in. And puts him back inside a full guard. Reversal, nice top position now. Full mount from Swain. Hit the arm triangle and rolled him because he didn't have a post to stop the roll. Now he's trying to finish it. Oh, it's tight. Swain passes, side control, submission here. Is it a matter of time? He's got to settle that left arm in tighter around the neck. You've got to kind of wiggle your way down in there a lot of times when you get into that position. Just about halfway through the first third of this fight. Submission attempts early from Daniel Swain. Back inside the full guard now of J.P. Reese. Swain showing he's very slick on the ground against an ATT guy. Close guard from Reese. A couple of kidney kicks here from Reese. Look at a pass on the right side of the body, goes to half guard of Swain. Reverse elbow, top of the thigh from JP. 
So if he's fighting to get guard back, but uh, good job by Swain staying glued to him, tight with that left leg and hip. Can Swain pass now? Gets off a couple of left hands. Nice little half guard game. Nice job coming out. JP, top position now. Good seesawing battle on the ground this one. JP inside of half guard. 1.30 remains. First round of three. Heel kicks to the end. Hamstring area there from Swain. Got one butterfly hook here. Good job defending right now on the ground. Stopping the strikes. Trying to posture up is Reese to get that right hand to the jaw. Good elbow off the back there from Daniel Swain. And again. Nice job posting up with the hand. Creating just enough distance. Sliding that elbow in. It is J.P. Reese inside the guard of Daniel Swain. Swain closes the guard, uses the elbows to the top of the head. Swain looking like he's learning a little bit with uh, Trevor Prangley out there in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. J.P. Reese, his first time fighting at 1.45 today. Took this fight, of course, on 10 days notice. Didn't have a lot of preparation. Still looks real lean and in shape. J.P. Roos, who was second all-time in career, pins for the Mizzou wrestling team behind Ben Askren. He's also, interestingly, the 2006 Beach Wrestling National Champion, which is competing on sand. He got to go to Turkey and compete in the World Championships of Beach Wrestling. You dumped on your face and it ends your day. <laughs> End of the first round. Reese doing a good job early on defending the takedown. Swain had him in enough of him, but uh, trying to trying to injure him and break loose on that slam was not able to do it. Nice transition here to an arm triangle. Take the post from your opponent. You know you can roll him that way. Beautiful job by Swain. Ended up in mount. Eventually transitioned off to the side as he's doing here, but was not able to finish Reese with it. Nine to Swain says Pat Militich after one. How are you scoring it, folks? Let us know. Use the hashtag 20 XFC27 on Twitter. Second round. Left kick to open up from Swain. Wanted to drop down and look for a single leg. Now presses JP against the cage. So he's trying to reach for a single. High knee, killed it over the air. Right shoulder nicely, did Swain. Cut munching knee, tries to fold him in half. Swain just pressing Reese up against the cage here. And another knee to the midsection. Corner calls for more knees from Swain, and he responds. Yeah, they're effective. Reese tried to turn the angle and get out of there, but got dumped. Wrapping the head, trying to turn him here. See him try to elevate him with that right foot inside, butterfly position. One minute down already here in the second round. It has been Swain who attempted most of the subs in the first. Here's an attempt from J.P. Reese. How tight is this, Pat? Not tight enough. Looks like Swain's uh, out of it. Left arm locked up here by J.P. Reese. Swing there, he's trying to slide that knee through. You can see him trying to fish for it. Beautiful technique. Lock those legs up, squeeze the hips. Pull him away. Swing, elbow to the top of the ear. Both guys good scramblers. Oh, look at this. Replay of uh, 
Gosh, I'm trying to remember what fight that was. Was it Gary Goodrich? Gary Goodrich yeah. in UFC 8 or something like that. Yeah. The Chris Fix position. Takes the back here to JP Reese. It's time for him now to land some blows. Turtle shell from Swain. Gets off the right hand as Reese. Swain trying to defend, keep those legs from coming in. He doesn't want both hooks in there. So he doesn't want to pull his arms away from his legs and give the gap to Reese to sneak those in. A real ground battle here as we're about the halfway mark of the second of three. It's a tough position to be in because you, you want to stand up and get out of there, but you don't want to give your opponent the chance to get full, full legs in, get those hooks in. Swain rolling onto his back. Doesn't want JP to pass here. And puts him inside the full guard. Nicely done from Swain. Yeah, got out of a bad position. At least he's got the neutral position able to work. Did a good job in the first round from this position. Big right hands from JP from the top position. And again with the right hand. JP Reese, who turned pro in June 2010. And actually coaches wrestling at Cardinal Gibbons High School in Fort Lauderdale. As we said earlier, taking this fight on only 10 days' notice and comes in against Swain, who was riding a terrific four fight winning streak. Swain had a full eight week camp in preparation for this one. As Gary Copeland, much to the delight of the crowd. Stands both men. A beautiful 3-2 combination. Hook right hand. Walks into a right hand from Reese. Both men now trading it out. Uppercut from Swain. Barely missed. Ooh. 3-2, 3-2. Beautiful combination from Swain. Hook right cross. Both men swinging for the knockouts. Trading knees. Not a lot of defense going on in that exchange. Muay Thai clean from both men. And it's... The uppercuts now from Swain, uppercut from JP. He's doing a good job there, trying to tie him up and slow the action down. Swain definitely got the better of that exchange. It was good stuff. Point tie clinch. No, just a single hand here from JP. Chance for the knee to the sternum, one to the jaw there from Swain. Takes the back, standing at JP Ricks. Watch his leg. Oh, sneaky little kick up under the armpit. Submission here from Swain. Can he find it? JP Reese's right arm is trapped. It's looking pretty tight. Yeah. And Reese out of trouble in the final seconds of a highly entertaining second round. It's going to be a hard one for the judges to call. Great scrambles in that, that round. Wow. There he has. He rolls him. And he has the chance, the opportunity to land some nasty elbows. Reese recognizing what kind of position he's in, says, I got to get moving, man, or I'm in deep, deep trouble. End up with some serious gashes from elbows. Here's that flurry toward the end of the round. Swain getting the better of him, landing those big right hands. Reese doing a great job just to weather that storm because he got tagged hard. Something for all you hockey fans out there. A little later on, we'll be chatting to Phil Russell. 15 years as an NHL defenseman. Most notably a member of the Chicago Blackhawks, known as the tough guy. We'll be talking to Phil Russell a little later in the show. Third and final round. Third, final round, you ready, Blue? Third, final round, ready, Red? Left hook from JP overhooks the left arm of Swain. Elbow. Wonder if Swain's corner told him, hey, let's keep this guy standing for a little bit, beat him up some more. Overhand right counter to the left hook. 
threads that awkward angle on the lead hand of Swain. Overhand right from Swain, misses the target. High knee. Some fatigue coming into play from both men here in the final round. I think Reese looks a little tired. Short notice might be getting him a little bit. Give it up for J.P. Reese. He took the fight after Thanksgiving Day, held back on the turkey when he heard that the original opponent had fallen through. Jumping knee. Pressed up against the cage now. Swain kind of thinking about disengaging there, yeah. Thought about the uppercut, Swain. Left hook, right hand. That was the combination that worked well for him in the second round. The 3 2. Yeah, and he fainted the jab beforehand, which is always good to do. Make him think about one thing and bring something else. Left hook again. Both men sporting little welts under their eyes. Nice little hematoma to the side of the head of JP Reese as well. Big takedown coming here from him. Gets it and goes to side control. Got the arm trapped if he pinches it. Advantageous position for JP Reese with two minutes 50 remaining, third and final round. Looking for that arm triangle, you can see posting up on his head is Swain. Trying to stop the leverage. Full mount position now for JP Reese. Best position Reese has been in for the entire fight pack. Yeah, he's up against the cage. He wants to slide over where the cage is at and tighten this up. There he goes. He had enough room created it. Seemed moving Swain's hips out a little bit so he could fit himself in there. Might even ideally like to have a little more room so he can go out and not be parallel with Swain's body as much. JP Reese trying to submit Swain. Swain gives the thumbs up to referee Gary Copeland and again says he's okay. Yeah, he's got that arm tucked in there pretty good protecting himself. Plenty of time on the clock here. Crowd booing. They're not understanding the submission attempt here from J.P. Reese. The Muskegons aren't happy, Pat. No, they aren't. They're used to seeing hockey fights, Michael. I think we can get out of Michigan alive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Muskegonites are jeering for referee to stand them up here, but not while JP still has this submission attempt locked on. Right. He's got to sleep. That's why JP Reese puts Daniel Swain to sleep. And Gary Copeland knows what he's doing. He's, he's a very good ref. I show the first round. Great refereeing from Gary Copeland. Was right under with the arm raise. Saw that Swain was 99. And J.P. Reese turned the tide in his favour in the third round. Scores a beautiful sum.